Right. We're back. Now, there's going to be a big skip because I did record for like a quite a while only to find that the whole screen was just black and only recorded the game sounds and not even my voice. So it sort of fucked me over. But to give a quick overview, we are now in Octagonia. We have entered a masked martial arts tournament in which the grand prize is the branch that we're looking for. That's essentially where we're up to now. Why do I keep doing that? I keep like clicking the left thing to sprint past, but that's not how it works. This obviously right trigger. Right. I've not had a look around yet of Octagonia, but I know the objective is to take the elevator up to get to uh, the arena. But we're gonna walk around. Oh, fuck, eight hundred coins. Maybe that's fucking sick. Can I jump over this? No. So we're just gonna like look around. A little exploration. I don't think we don't really need to buy new weapons or out. Is there nothing showing like any extra quests? And the only way down is via some stairs there. Just literally look at the chests if we can find anything. May as well smash some pots, alright. Get nothing. What's down here is the weapon shop and all that. All the good stuff. Uh, so there's three levels in which. Ooh, that's the orphanage, is there. Whether that's worth going to right now. I'm not going to buy anything. Can I get in there? Oh, it's the church. The orphanage is underground? There's an orphanage underneath the church. That seems very uh, fishy. Very Catholic of you. I'm not implying anything. I'm sure the church is doing non illegal activities with children. However, oh, we can get in this room here. Uncle Vince has gone to the arena. The tournament will be starting soon. Are you a fighter too? Then you should enter. I think you do it at the registration. Okay, so that's just hint to go fucking where we were before. It seems rather weird that to put a hint that far away from the actual arena, but whatever. Right, do we go in the upper level, upper oct octagonia? And have a look around. See what the uh, hubbub is up here. Oh, I could actually just run to the arena from. Oh no, I can't get up. I have to go the centre way to get to the arena. It actually doesn't look like there's much going on up here either. It's like a little eatery area. Oh God, look at that fucking guy. Eating thin air. Right, like it was, it's straight to Octagonia then. Uh, it's already the dual arena. You got a mask? Yep, okay, you can head up. You ready to go fight now? All right, there, going up. Right, what is my pie looking like anyway? We're all of twenty almost, except from like Sil Silvando, Veronica, and Serena. Forget your pie talk. Hey, listen. Fuck yeah, what a fucking Zelda reference, dude! 
Hey, listen! Is this a voice actress? We have to win this MMA tournament. Otherwise, some other idiot's gonna walk away with a rainbow. Now, come on, let's stop dilly dying and start making preparations. Right, let's just, uh. Hurt the partner draw. That's happening in the arena. Just head up right up these stairs. Partner draw, so I can get a randomer. Which I bet will be a new character for us to join the party. Are you ready? It's everyone's favorite season of the year. Fighting season! Let's throw open the big book of brawling legends and get ready to write in some new names. The Masked Martial Arts Tournament starts here. Now before our fighters get down and dirty, it's time to find out who will be paired with who. Let's hope everyone gets the partner they deserve. I'm going to draw balls from this box right here and call out the numbers. Each pair of numbers forms a team. Fighters will be counting on you to make the most of whoever you're matched with. Remember, teamwork makes the dream work. Alrighty, let's get started. And the first number is 11. Fighter number 11, step right up. Right now, time to find out who will be fighting beside you. Let's see. Who will it be? Eight. It's fighter number eight. Number eight. Make your way up to the stage. Charmed, I'm sure. Hold on a wee second there. Hmm? I'm not putting this young lass's fate in the hands of a ballyhoo like you and your box of balls. Uh, but, sir, uh, sir, it's it's the rules. Allow me to check that with the uh, official adjudicator. Uh. <sighs> My mistake, fighters. Seems this gentleman here has a, uh, a special arrangement. Number 11 gets another pick of the partner pot. Oi, what's the big idea? Play fair, will ya? Come on now, folks. Be reasonable. The, uh, the official adjudicator has spoken. Now, why don't we see who number 11 will be fighting beside? Oh, hey, hey. It's number seven! Fighter number seven, come on down! Looks like I'm up. Ah, Vince got picked already. Well, how about oh my God. That? Number 11's new partner is last year's champion, Octagonia's favorite son, Vince Vanquish! Hey man, good to meet you. Let's break some heads. That's it, folks. Our teams have been decided. Now all that remains is to wait for the action to begin. Let's wish the best of luck to all our fighters! <laughs> a 
Okay, arena waiting area, uh, waiting room. So can I just go straight into the fight? You can't go out there, they're getting arena ready for the opening fights. It's all, it'll all be getting started soon enough. Why don't you rest up till then? You're gonna need all the pep you can muster. So how did you draw go? By looking your face, I said you got yourself a pretty good partner, huh? It'll be a little while before we're ready for the opening fights. Why don't you head over to the inn and rest up while you wait? It won't cost you a dime. Fight is safe for free, the Octagonia Inn. I'd make the most of it if I were you. I'm all right, the elevator. You ready to head down to the lobby? No, let's just... Let's just use the fucking... Bed over here. Unless I have to go to the inn. Do I have to go? I bet you I have to go to the inn. Right, yeah, we've got to go to the inn. Obviously, must some be some story progression or something. Right, we've seen all this. If I meet the other two, which I am 100% sure are actually our future party members. Kid on the digger. We all have our bad days. Who said that? Come here and all. <gasps> Ch champ. <laughs> I get it. You didn't get the draw you wanted, but you gotta roll with the punches, man. Just didn't even have fucking eyes. I mean, you're a tough guy. What does it matter who you partner with, right? Since you put it like that, champ. Uh, sorry, Squirt. <laughs> I'll, uh... Kev? Uh, Kev, is that you, mate? Kev? <laughs> Veronica, are you all right? Hey there, partner. You know this little lady? I guess all's well that ends well, huh? Glad I could help out. All right, gotta bounce. I got kids to feed, then I'm hitting the sack. We ain't gonna win tomorrow if we don't rest up. You take it easy too, you hear? I'll come get you bright and early. <laughs> well, fuck. The tension around town goes up a couple notches when the fighting's about to start. It's fun to talk to the locals and watch them get all worked up. Hey, but you're gonna be fighting tomorrow, right? You should get some rest, man. You know the Octagon uh, Octagonia Inlet's fight is safe for free. You should totally take advantage of that. Okay. Dude, our fucking partner's got no eyes. Like Brock from fucking... Uh... Pokemon, right? Where the fuck is this in? Oh, they're there. <laughs> Fuck's sake. This is his new partner, he was just here a minute ago, matter of fact. Said he'd come wake you up tomorrow morning in time for your first fight. Maybe you heard already, but fight is safe for free here at going in. You ready to turn in? Alright then, I'll show you to your room. You rest up good for tomorrow. Rise and shine, partner. Time to hit the arena.
I was already awake when he walked in. And that was a bit creepy if it wasn't. Hey, partner, trying to get to it. You all set? Now let's go smash some heads. What's the point of the masks? Everyone knew who Vince was. And then all the girls are gonna be swooning over me. <laughs> You'll see. Oh my god. Fucking slurpy. Alright, teams, I want a nice clean belt. On my word. Here it comes, folks. And fight! Dum, 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 dum. The bombable Storman. Showman and the under, I guess. Okay, can't really tactics anyone. As if he just got crit for 60 fucking fall on the first hit. And why are they fighting with their arms in the air? Some crystal parries. Right. Bang him up. Not very strong. Even looks like Vince is just gonna fucking do all my damage anyway. And that guy's got fucking high crit. Holy shit, right, spells. I need to heal myself. Bums away. Are his copies just as strong or? I think we we'll go for bang again, do we? Dude! But I need to fucking heal again. The fact that you can fucking underdig it fucking has a, such a ridiculously crit, high crit chance. And that wipes out a lot of them.
Okay. Let's go fucking flaming sword. Let's actually use a fucking actual attack. I just flame slash on the digger. Fucking kicks, man. This is relentless. I don't think you can get the beard. Over here. Yeah. I can't do any sort of pet powers. Bang. He's been fucking crit so many times. Still standing. Oh, that's what I'm talking about, Vince. No fucking bump out of there. Jesus. They're strong as fuck. Not bad. That's it. It's all over. Vince has done it again. Fucking never saying I could do it on my own. I'd probably get absolutely raped. Nice job, partner. You're tougher than you look. Hmm. Sounds like the next fight started already. Would you look at the kid go? She's incredible! I still don't get why everyone's masked. Heavens be praised. How are we supposed to compete with that? Admit it, Vince. Even you're impressed. Yeah, she ain't bad. The preliminary bounce draw to a close, and Vince and Luna make it safely through the next round. All right, folks. Here are the teams who'll be fighting it out for your pleasure in the final bouts. Vince and his new sidekick prove invincible and take the title again? Or will Rab and Jade continue their incredible run and pip the champ at the post? It's all still to play for. Come back tomorrow when the action continues. You won't want to miss it!
I lucked out getting you as my partner. We're in with the chance, you and me. Oh, that's nice. Anyway, I better go. The kids will be waiting for me back at the orphanage. We'll never go to the orphanage to see him. I don't even know really know where I'm supposed to go. Just rest up another day. What was that? She wipes the floor with you. You should be ashamed of yourself going out in the first round. Look, I did the best I could, okay? But she's... She's not normal. <laughs> Are you sure you weren't just love-struck? You looked a bit weak at the knees to me. And what with her flashing her legs around like that? Well... <gasps> Veronica! It's them! Huh? Excuse me, lassie. Would you mind standing aside? Uh, oh, yes, of course. Sorry. Shall we? Hmm. I'd keep a close eye on your partner if I were you. Vince isn't a pedo, is he? <laughs> it's always at the orphanage. Think it could be anything to do with the missing people we heard about, do you? Didn't someone say that they were all competitors in the tournaments they have here? Could could Vince be in danger? Oh, okay, he's in danger. Oh, he's getting really competitors. That's the first I've heard of it. Doesn't sound good though. Or it could be a pedo. Maybe you should go check on Vince. Don't want your partner disappearing before the big day. I like how the MPs, like my team, are like, he could be in danger, someone's gonna kidnap him. And my first thought was, Vince could be a pedo. <laughs> Vince is a pedophile. 